Hi and welcome to another Tabless Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. This is this lovely strawberry hanger made on black glass that really makes the strawberries and the strawberry flowers pop. And today I'm going to show you how I made this. So for this project, um, I wanted to do something with black glass. There's quite a lot of beautiful strawberry artwork out there with black glass. Now, I've chosen a second piece of black glass like this, which are going to have my hooks on. I wanted to use two hooks because I like the way sometimes things hang with two hooks. And I've got that little bit of black glass in the background. Um, so that's like that. Now I'm just going to actually just put a bit of glue down just to hold everything in place here. It's sometimes useful just to put a bit of um, fibre paper underneath the hooks. It protects your kiln shelf from any metal residue and also helps hold them up. So I'm just going to put that up like that so that they're nicely now sitting nicely and easily rather than kind of falling off. Um, just need to push this up because it's quite... I'm using one of my small kilns and that can go on like that. So now I just want to make a kind of nice strawberry plant uh, feeling here. Now I could do it coming down, I um, could do it coming up, but actually I'm going to do it coming down so it's like the feeling that this is a strawberry vine that's coming off and has leaves and plants. Now we've got on available, we've got um, these new strawberry flowers available, we've got the XL. And this is all 96, and we got the 96 green leaf XL. We were only selling um, XL leaves as a mix, but we're gonna do the green leaves on their own because we do know that sometimes you do like kind of having that kind of thing on your, on its own. So I'm just sort of putting these on. It's kind of a very simple little piece, this. It's just that kind of feeling of the, the kind of rich black um, glass and then this sort of strawberry flower coming over. You, you can buy a mix. You've got the XL and the um, strawberry flower in an XL, just those two combined. Or you can buy the um, strawberry and the strawberry flower in normal size. And then we're gonna do a 50 grams, which is all, all of um, the sizes combined plus the green leaves. So that you've got kind of those different things available so you can kind of make a project. I know sometimes it's kind of hard to buy, um, 25 grams or even 15 grams or something. you don't need that much but if you can get it with um, as a mix that's a really kind of great way and a cost effective way for you guys so I hope that works uh, we're hearing that from you and that's what you know we hear and so we like to do what we can I love this mix the rich red glass and the strawberries the um, greens and then the whites of the flowers I just think it works so well and um, I'm loving the feel of it I hope it's looking good sometimes it's hard working upside down I know it's good for you guys because you can see but for me I'm like does that look good does that look good Tina it does it looks brilliant well there we go we'll take take it from Tina she knows mm -hmm. um, so put another one there I think mm -hmm. that's pretty good I think we might just add a couple of green leaves around here And I think Lovely. we're done. So that's ready to go in. And um, I just like the idea of one more, one more leaf down there. So that's it's a really simple piece. So you saw how you kind of done that. We're not fast forwarding anything here. That's going to go in and we can have a look how it looks when it comes out. So here this is out of the kiln. I really love how this comes out. It's just brilliant. The black makes the colours just pop. And it's such, such great. The yummy, yummy, yummy texture and colours, and it's just gorgeous. Um, I really hope you've liked this. I hope this inspires you to kind of use black glass and add some um, floral designs to it. I mean, I can't remember what era it's from. I had, you know, going to my grandparents' house when at, um, uh, they had beautiful placemats, black placemats with floral designs that I kind of was what I was inspired by. I was thinking, oh, I remember that. That was beautiful. And then I saw Kareem's design with um, jewellery and thought, yes, she's right, it does work. And I really want to do a piece um, like that. So, I mean, have a look. Um, and then you could do this as a platter. Um, we got another project coming later in the week where we're doing strawberries on white, but you could um, change it up and make that project in black. I almost wish I had done that project in black now, but too late, it's already in the kiln. 
but I, I love this. I'm thinking I'm gonna make a kind of set of trinket trays um, with uh, strawberries with um, black glass trinket trays. I think it would just be so gorgeous. And I think we'll be kind of really good, um, good sellers. I just think it's lovely. Literally, guys, we were gonna put this up for sale, but one of the staff has said, no, I want it. So she's buying it. Um, but uh, so obviously gonna be really, really popular. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember we're selling the, the mixes of strawberries and leaves now on our website, tabthosglassemporium.com. Sign up for our newsletter. You'll hear about all our new products that are coming out and anything that's going on like free shipping or any offers we have or any new videos. So that's a great place. You can like, subscribe here do all of that and um, please you know share these videos share them with people it always helps if we know that other people are seeing what we're making and help support us support you until next time happy fusing